Oh, hi. What do you think? I just built this just in a few minutes here on the beach. I think uh, I'm doing pretty good here with these rocks. Just, you know, just a little architecture for this. You're doing pretty good there, chat. Just go a little deeper in there, okay? A <laughs> little deeper, a little right. deeper. <laughs> I'm busted. <laughs> this is Dennis, the sand slave and master sandcastle artist. How's Thanks it going, for having chat? us. Exactly, how do you start building something? This is obviously more than the dribble castles I've made. Well, a little it's bit. basically the same way. This part was done with a form. Okay. We put sand and water in this form here, and then when that's full of sand and water, we put another form on top, oh, right? So okay. it's like a wedding cake. And at the very top here, well, you can do a form where you hand stack. Well, I'm gonna show you the hand stacking. Sandcastling 101. So let me go grab a bucket and uh, bring right. it over there and I'll show you how to hand stack. You gotta earn your keep here. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to study under a true artist like Dennis, Texas's best sand slave. And today I'm getting my very own lesson. Oh, whoa, whoa. Pancake. Boom. One, two, three, jiggle, stop. Ah, that's where I've probably messed up because I keep padding and the mm -hmm. whole thing crumbles. And it cracks. All right. There you go. Perfect. Ah, he said perfect. Nice. Perfect. So come in here like this. Go all the way around. Straight up. Go. Am I looking straight for a straight up line? Down. It fills in the cracks. We call this annealing. You guys have to have like the perfect sand here in South Padre to do this. We have. This is probably the perfect place because we can do this 365 days a year. We have the sun in the right place as it rotates around. We have great sand. This is your art form. Uh, yeah, it's a perishable art. We'll see it uh, today and it'll be gone tomorrow. <laughs> it's a lot of love and effort that goes into something that's just going to wash away, but obviously gratifying. Well, yeah, because we have students of all ages and yeah. we have the little kids, the grandparents. Cool. And they all work together on it. This is kind of rocking my sandcastle world. The fact that you build something that looks nothing like what you want it to look like and then carve it away. It's just, it just feels natural to me. I feel like I'm finding some sort of calling. South Padre Beach is also the only place to build an authentic Texas snowball and snowman. Can you believe sand can do that? Amazing, I know, but it only gets better. Ready? We're gonna build an arch. An between arch? Between here and here. An so, arch? Okay. I don't think sand was ever meant to be an arch form. <laughs> this is insane. So we're gonna start building across like this. Okay. So you're gonna take your hands, and as we go, I'm gonna build over top of your hands, and you're gonna keep the arches, or the two towers, from falling into each other. Okay. Spread the fingers out. But you've been doing good. Hold steady. Yep. This is a wide span. <laughs> this is awesome. The Romans were really famous for doing their arches, but we're gonna be famous right now for making ours. You tell me when. All right, now we'll slowly wiggle our fingers and pull them out. The moment of truth. Ta-da! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> My mind is blown. That's crazy. I can see you. Ta-da! <laughs> it's like uh, destructive and creative at the same time, mm -hmm. which I'm all in. It's got to be a blast for families to get out here. All the get money together. I had one where the mom said, I can't believe my three sons are working together. And there's a picture of them, all three of them together, working on the same part of the sandcastle together. Sandcastles, bringing yeah. families together. There we go. Millions of pieces of sand, millions of possibilities, but only one proper name, the Day Tripper Castle. For our monumental team effort, a monument that will stand for but a brief moment before it fades back into the sea. It's sort of like life. The sea and the sand and the waves and tides of change. And yeah, I'm sure there's some deep analogy to make here, but it is very hard to think with all this sand in my pants. Ah, well, I missed it. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com. Or here's some other videos you may like. Bye, Cone Dios, amigos.